All right, so ready to rock and roll here, and we've got kind of three people standing around here a little bit. So you want to make sure that you're paying attention to who finishes first and getting on them right away. Even if they're in a break and you kind of feel like, okay, everyone's going to be kind of finishing at the same time type thing, um, you can see who starts resting first. And while they're resting over there, you can start setting up their exercises. So you, you know what I mean? Getting them ready. So. Um, Basically, they don't have to be setting up their own because like Dr. Mike, as you can see, is obviously going at it. Elizabeth is just kind of standing there, so you're basically falling behind. You want to make sure that at least you're setting up for the people uh, beforehand. That's, that's going to be a big thing. Big, big thing. And, and being quick, quick and concise through the workouts, or through the actual explanations as well. So. Really just giving a quick demonstration of one rep. That's it. One, two reps. Being quick. Okay, so you're doing the explanations, but it's really important to make sure you're keeping an eye on everyone else. So keep an eye on Michael, keep an eye on Emma, and making sure that you're encouraging them as well. So basically, you are giving the person you're giving instruction your full attention, but it's like you give Michael a cue. Oh, cool. Way to keep that. Michael, way to keep that back or, or shoulders back. We get that vision tall, good long stride. There you go, keep going. You know, uh, same thing with Emma. Give them words of encouragement. Give them what they're doing right. Give them a little correction from afar if needed. Also, the intensity of that it has to be high. You know, you hear Mike over there uh, clapping and stuff like that, and really get into it. It's got to be definitely like you know, like come on, let's go, let's go, push it up. There you go. Yep. Yeah. Good suggestion on that too, by the way. Good. So take some of the intensity from over there and bring it into here. All right, so all three are working right now. Again, intensity, 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 excitement. Make the experience here definitely um, unforgettable with that too. So it kind of seems like everyone's kind of at like a eh, level, you know what I mean? Like I just saw Elizabeth kind of walk over and she was kind of in a daze type thing. Dr. Mike's kind of just doing his own thing over here, you know, so really get more involved with that and be like moving around like crazy. Again, like your walk is very like kind of slow and relaxed. So again, communication constant um, with the with the personal training over here as well. Um, I know Dr. Mike just kind of walked by you, and uh, you didn't say anything to him. Even just checking in, this is all about talking the entire time to all the clients, you know. So he's kind of doing his own thing again, and not really getting too much, you know. So in other words, why would he need a trainer? We gotta basically make sure that they um, realize that they need us, that we're giving them so much value that they that they need to come here. Consistently. So again, listen to like the tone of your voice. So again, give it a clap, get excited about it, you know what I mean? Really put some energy into it as well because again, your energy will drive their energy, always. Again, have fun with it, get excited with it, energy, and you'll see that. And you'll see that when you're watching the video here. Just kind of the way you're moving around is, is a little bit slow. And obviously, obviously, you're just getting your feet back wet again, but just to bring it in, when you're here Wednesday night, we're gonna turn it on. So I assume it's supposed to be a pull-up, and she's basically completely straight. So walk her feet back. And now look at the length of the TRX too. With the pull-ups, the straps need to be all the way pulled up. Like Emma's are a little bit higher, but that's part of the reason why it's so tough. So basically all you have to do is walk your feet back, push your hips back. So basically one hand on the back, one hand on the front of the hip, and basically forcing her in that position and showing her um, that she needs to stay there the whole time. She's kind of got a little bit better now, but as opposed to as opposed to showing her, fix her, you know what I mean? And that'll be a lot quicker, and I think she'll get a lot more out of it too. Always that physical correction is gonna rule. And again, spreading the wealth. It's basically like you're gonna move from here to there to there. When all three are going, you just wanna be moving. 
back and forth, giving them content. You know, not slow walking, kind of giving them some content, pushing them out, exciting them, motivating them. And again, getting right in there, getting right in there to the action. Good. There you go. There you go. Still giving her some good content, but again, more excitement in it, rather than just kind of like an on seer. And you'll hear you'll hear it in your tone. So make it so everyone can hear you, because again, they want to know that you're here. Turn the music up, have fun, start clapping, cheering, hooting. You know what I mean? Make it loud, make it fun for them, make it energetic. Because again, that's going to push them. You get them excited, they're going to drive further. And that's just how it works. And you'll see that when you're in here too. That's better tone, that's better tone. There you go. So for her, she's a little bit forward. You know, she wants to be a little more upright, so she'd want to walk back a little bit. So her arms are fully extended as opposed to like kind of halfway in. There you go. Give Mike some content, but, but even getting closer too, making that lap so you're hitting Elizabeth, Michael, M, Elizabeth, Michael, M, back and forth like that. Alright, Joe, we're in the finisher right here. And you hear your vocals and stuff like that? This is how we want to be going the entire time, because you've got a lot of energy there at the finishers. But when they're doing their resistance, when they're doing their power, combination, core, all that stuff, it wants to be the exact same as far as your vocalization and as far as your rotation. So again, you're kind of posting up, but make sure you give them that individual rotation. There you go, spend a little time with them. Spend a little time with Mike, pushing them. Spend a little time with Elizabeth, keep her going. You know, because the thing is, she's kind of sitting over here, kind of doing her thing, but she's not really hitting that full intensity. So, real important that you're basically giving them that individualization the entire time. Walking quick, you know what I mean, as far as that energetic look, to make sure that they know that you are in it to win it, baby. All right, buddy, so with the cool down, got to be over there also talking to them as well. If you want to do the actual um, calculations of the programs, you can bring it over um, with them. Even put it on a bench, um, open up a bench, lay them down there, and you can even sit on the bench and just make sure you're discussing and running them through that cool down. Uh, that's really important as well. You also want to be doing the nutrition Q&A at that time. Um, again, with our new nutrition system, it wants to be before the sessions. You are asking them questions as far as, okay, what's your, which nutrition, how's your nutrition going, guys? Beautiful. Individually asking them which program are you doing currently. They'll tell you. Um, ask them if they have any questions on it. If they say that they're not, then we're gonna be talking about, um, you know, hey, mentioned that you can go on the membership website and download your nutrition program anytime. Um, but let's talk about the seven habits right away and get them going on the seven habits. And the seven habits, papers are located right in the bins over there at the top um, to get them going on that. And then the end of the session, basically right now, is talking about nutrition questions. Any nutrition questions you guys have to further your progress here. Um, so again, as much time as you can spend with them individually, you know, uh, beforehand and after, to get that relationship going is going to be a huge, huge thing. And de delivering that information on nutrition during that time is going to be a huge, huge asset um, before and after the session as far as during the warm-up and during the cool-down.